<laughs> I know this nigga's gonna care about you. <laughs> so, Rob, uh, explain to these people what happened the day you came to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Tell these niggas how you was scared as shit to get out of the get out of the car when you went to the store. Nah, but the okay, but still, that's a difference, yo. Oh. Oh, I'm not gonna slap nobody, but you scared to get out of your store to go to in the fucking store. Oh, no, no, this nigga told me to wait there while he goes in the fucking store. I said, I. Right. This nigga just gonna come up to my window like you want to buy a cigarette. Like who the fuck comes up to a person's car and be like you want to buy a cigarette? First of all, if somebody come up to my window, I'm gonna tell him to get the fuck from around here. Like if I'm not fucking with, it, I'm not gonna drive off, nigga. If I was robbing the store and somebody saw you outside, nigga, you'd have left me. Bro, nigga, I stayed there. My ass stayed there. I was just like, nah, I'm cool. Yo, Karen. You, I mean, I Karen. I'm not starting with you right now. Hey. Hey, say. This nigga robbed, right? We parked right in front of the door of the store, right? When I come out the store, this nigga was damn near turning the corner. I was like, what are you doing? Like, what the fuck? I feel sorry for your mother. This nigga had me parked on the fucking corner, number one. Number two, the nigga came up to, you want to buy a cigarette? Who the fuck asked somebody to buy a cigarette that you don't even know, number one? Number two, Karen, I'll be in A1 all the time on Cleveland. So what are you saying? Exactly. This nigga Rob was scared. He's afraid. That nigga, look, the thing is, the funny part is, this nigga Rob had all the locks locked. The windows were rolled. I'm like, damn, Rob, what? I got a sticker in trying to sell. You got a gun in your head or something? <laughs> <laughs> What happened when he went inside, yo? Did it? And then the be like, oh, that's just what's his name. Like, I know who the fuck he was. I'm just saying, like, it was a nigga selling cigarettes. I don't know, it's like, niggas, like, I don't know where the fuck y'all live at. <laughs> the nigga sells, they sell everything out here. A nigga, uh, you'd have heard a few minutes, a nigga would have sold you some socks if you would have drove around the corner. No, hey, yo, hold on, no, 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 no. Number one, they do not just sell random ass cigarettes. They just don't be like, you want to buy a cigarette. Like, I don't fucking know. Nigga, I don't know you, but apparently you knew that nigga. They do sell random nigga. How the fuck you think? You think everybody that buys cigarettes they know? That nigga walked through the window and said, Lou Squares, and you drove off, nigga. Like, it's no, cool. Number one, I did not drive off. I stayed there, number one. I can tell, like, if somebody came up to my car, like, hey, yo, you want to buy a bag of weed or some shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, you want to buy, like, some weird shit? Like, yeah, but cigarettes? Like, come on now. If I smoke cigarettes. Uh, 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 how many, how many you know the neighborhood you live in where people walk up to your car and say, hey, would you like to purchase some marijuana? Like, what were you talking about? Like, that nigga, that, he, he said he was selling cigarettes, and you, like, I don't know. You were on the main street. He might he might not even have walked up to your car. Your window was down. He was probably crossing the street. You looked frightened. So he was like, hey, little square, you started that car up. And proceeding around the corner. Like, I understand. This nigga is fronting like a motherfucker because my car stayed on, number one. Number two, this nigga had me pull up to the fucking corner. So I was at the corner. I was not turning nowhere. And number three, who the fuck just comes up, tells me to roll down a window to ask if I want to buy a goddamn cigarette? Right. So when I, the, the word is you looked inside the car. How worried did I look walking toward the car? What are you talking about? Nigga, I'm talking about some other shit. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm just checking because I wasn't worried about the nigga walking up to your car. But you was inside a whole vehicle. Scared as shit. Nigga, what? <laughs> so you, the one of us that was in no danger, was actually safe in that car with them bulletproof windows. Was scared as opposed to me. I don't understand, Rob. It's cool. Store. Nah, but the reason I didn't go, like when Rob was here last week, this nigga Rob said drive up north. This nigga Rob the lazy, talking for oh, I got I got five thousand dollars worth of DJ equipment in my car. Ain't nobody gonna ride me. Don't nobody know you got that shit in your car unless you walk around telling people you got five thousand dollars worth of DJ equipment in your car. I don't understand. This nigga, like, he's like, drive up north. Why the fuck am I driving up in the suburbs to pick you up, go kick it and probably drink and shit, so I can be drunk and have to drive you back to the crib and then drive myself back? I don't understand. This nigga lost a damn man. 
Wait, what happened now? That's exactly how life goes for this nigga Rob. What this nigga you know? What'd you just say? Because I just left for a second. What'd you say? Nothing at all, sir. Nah, 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 nah. Because apparently I gotta explain myself some more because fucking HBO want to start some bullshit with her little ratchet ass. Yeah, I know. I know, Rico. You know how these white motherfuckers get. They, they see too many black people. Oh my god. Yo, what, Karen? What are you talking about? My family lives down there, yo. I'll be on fucking Cleveland all the time.